Welcome back to the channel. Cost of living is rising in Miami. A couple weeks ago, I got a letter from the leasing office. My rent is increasing from $2,150, which is what it is now, to $2,300. I think 300, 2300 or 2200, one of them. It's, it's going up. Not to mention, it's hurricane season in Miami too, which is its own separate topic. Like, yo, it's literally, it's, yo, hurricane season in Miami is no deal. Like, you guys know the hurricane that's, I don't even know what it's called. I think it's called, I don't even know. The hurricane that's like right now, Miami has a serious problem, bro. The flooding here is outrageous. Like, if we got hit by the hurricane itself, I don't even, I can't even imagine what Miami would go through. Like, bro, it's so bad. Today is a pretty beautiful day. I can't even lie. It is immaculate vibes. I mean, just look, oh my God. Like, I know I do this like every time I record outside, but fuck, like, ah. So, if you are new to my channel, my name is Ty. You know, I'm just a guy, you know, I live here in Miami. Moved here about two years ago, and I just been, you know, getting the Miami experience, the, the adulting experience. I live here in downtown Miami. So, fun fact: before I moved here, like a year before, rent was like fifteen hundred for what I got now. Like, not even this. Honestly, it'd probably been cheaper. I was told that the Panorama, which is like the most expensive, the tallest building in Miami, was for one bedroom. What I got right now was only fifteen hundred dollars, guys. I'm not living in the Panorama. The Panorama is like the most luxurious building here. I live, you know, it's not bad. You know, you got, you know, you see what I got, but I'm paying 2150. It was just two or three years ago, 1500 for the most luxury top floor. I'm talking about the view is stunning. Like my view is pretty good too. You know, don't get it wrong, but there's a building in front of me. Like, you know, imagine this, oh, hold on, let me just, oh, hold on, hold on. Yo, imagine this view without this building here. Like, bro, this would be, Magnet, like, it will be, oh my god, and you telling me they got all of that for only fifteen hundred dollars? Insane! Like, what the fuck happened? Miami people, the world, government, what happened? What are we? Fifteen? I don't know. I don't know. Wages are not keeping up with what's happening with the world. Is actually criminal. It should be. A, it should be crime. What's happening? But regardless, let's talk about cost of living. How much it costs? Blah blah blah. Here in Miami. Here we are. Um, this is the workstation, I'm gonna call it. Um, and I have my MacBook here. And I'm gonna show you guys, you know, the average rent prices here in Miami, how much it costs to live in each different section of Miami, because you guys don't know. Miami is set up into, let me actually put this down first, hold on. Miami is split up into different sections, I'm gonna call it. So Miami does also have this, I wanna say, poor sections, let's just say it like that. The cost of living is a lot more affordable. And honestly, it's not even that bad living. I know a lot of places like Little Havana or Overtown or whatever get a lot of wreck. Well, I've never been to Overtown, but I lived in Little Havana and it wasn't that bad, honestly. So my last apartment, I lived in Little Havana and you know, the apartment itself, you know, it wasn't the best. You know, you guys probably remember if you guys been here that long, you know, the bathroom was a little shady, but you know, living there wasn't the worst experience because you know, it was pretty, close to the city, you know, it was literally like five minutes away. Like I, my one wheel, I got there in like five, 10 minutes, you know, no problems. Today, for the purposes of today's video, I'm only gonna talk about Brickell, Little Havana, and downtown because that's the only place I've really lived and experienced. And I don't wanna talk about something I've never experienced. Brickell, downtown, Little Havana. They are, so, they're all similar, but they're very, very different. Brickell is what we call the financial district, basically, all the people with money, power, influence, whatever you want to call it, live in Brooklyn. When you see Brooklyn, you realize why they call it the financial district. You know, every other corner has you know, a supercar, some guy in a suit, you know, a really attractive woman, you know, really movie star type stuff. So obviously the cost of living over there is actually ridiculous. I don't know, Brooklyn gives me more of a pretentious vibe. Downtown's more like that New York, gruesome like you're kind of one with the city i don't know how to explain it living over here it's a little bit less than brooklyn average rent here in downtown is 3100 or around there now that's accounting for the most luxurious buildings brooklyn's more small you know it's the most luxurious but it's tiny so brooklyn's like all the way over there by itself in its own little corner and I'm not gonna lie, the average rent over there is around like four to five thousand dollars. It's insane. You know, it's actually ridiculous. Like I remember one guy, so I used to work over there in Brooklyn. And I'm not gonna lie, working in Brooklyn has I might have to make a video on this, but working in Brooklyn has to be the most fascinating experience because 
you're a normal simpleton guy, you know, just me, just a regular old guy, but you're around multi-millionaires pretty much like 24-7, constantly. Like, I remember this one guy, fuck, I forgot his name. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. He does Amazon FBI, I, I know, wait, wait, I'm gonna find it. Okay, bro, you don't understand. I just spent the like last 10 minutes trying to find this guy, but I found him. His name is KT Hustle. Apparently he's like, a, he has like a hundred million dollars or something, I don't know. But I used to serve this guy coffee like every day at the place I used to work, and you just meet these people and like, and it's crazy because I talk to him and you know, he's just a normal guy. It's like, it's ridiculous. And I also met like Fresh and Fit and Fresh used to come in there too and gave him a coffee. It's crazy, bro, it's crazy. So Brooklyn was his own place. And then you have Little Havana. So I lived over there when I first moved here. I think my rent at the time was 2200, $2,250, I think it was. You know, I lived over there and Little Havana, like I said, is not bad. You know, it just gets bad rep because it's not Brooklyn or downtown. It's not luxurious. And the average rent over there is gonna be around 25, 2600, I believe. Um, and that changed, of course, that's gonna change with time, with inflation and all of that. That's just current time. Now I wanna talk about how much do jobs generally pay and how much should you probably make before coming over here? So what is the average income here in Miami? So I'm gonna do take a little look here on my map book. Should I just, let me just put you down here. Just, oh, stay right there, okay. Average income in Miami. That she will be got the median salary in Miami, Florida is 60k, with 80% of salaries in between 25 and 150. Um, how much is that an hour though? 19 dollars and 89 cents, 20 bucks an hour. Um, so yeah, you know, income is just not keeping up with. The times I could not imagine living in today's world without a roommate like bro you have to you have to make money I can't even imagine like bro fuck if you want to live like in a city and be with people and you know live a you know live a happy free you know life in the city it costs an arm and a leg and like people aren't paying like I don't get it like like bro what is gonna happen when people just finally get enough and say we're fucking done like I you need to pay me. Like, I'm not taking, I'm not dealing with this shit no more. Because that's where I'm, I'm getting to that point. But you know what? Oh my gosh, should I say, okay, so, you know what, okay, oh, ah, I'm gonna say it. I don't even know how we got to this point. My boss, or the owner of the, the owner of the place that I work, for some reason, so we were all talking about wages and overtime and you were tired of work, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, there's a system at our job where you can, like, over, like, work or overachieve and get points or something to get extra money, like an extra five bucks. And you have to get a certain amount of points to get the money. So let's say 100 points equals like five bucks or something like that. So the guy was like, yo, you can, you know, get a bunch of overtime or something. I forgot, do something to get some extra points to earn an extra. Guess how much you said? I just want you guys to guess. He said you can make an extra because we're all complaining about all oh, money, blah, blah, and I'm tired and, you know, bills, blah, blah, blah struggling. And he said, yo, you can do this and you can make an extra. Guess how much you said you can make a year. That's, I'm going to give you that little hint. He said a year. <laughs> you're not going to get, you're not even, you're not, you're not even going to come close. Just guess. He said, you know, bro, if you put in a couple more hours, you know, greet the guests, you know, you know, overachieve, you can, get, you know, earn an extra 100 points and you're going to earn an extra $40 a year. Forty dollars a year. He said that with a straight, the straightest face. I couldn't believe it. We we're all just sitting there in disbelief. Like, did he just say forty bucks a year? Yeah, man, that's great money. Forty bucks a year. I would take that, bro. This guy makes like eight hundred k, I believe. That someone told me that he makes like eight hundred k a year. He said on an extra forty bucks. What the fuck are we talking about? What do you? What? I can't believe. It. I can't believe it. I can't. I said some someday, one of these days, the people are gonna rise up and we're over this shit. Okay, so to make a long story short, um, the average rent in Miami itself, like in Ho, I think is around 2100 and Little Havana is around 2500 and downtown, uh, not downtown, and Brickle, it's like four or five K, and over here, I think it's around 23 uh, or 26, depending on the area, give or take, you know, a couple hundred here and there, but 
I want to show you guys, you know, the different locations and show you guys what, you know, it looks like. I've been here for, like I said, two years now, living my best life. Living my best life. Living my best life. The, you know, the girls say here. Bro, girls here are so fucking annoying. Oh, okay. I want to do a, like an update video on dating because holy shit. Just when I thought dating couldn't get any worse, it, it just it just keeps giving, man. It's a gift that keeps giving. You know, Miami, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty it's pretty much wraps for dating. Um Hey bro, thank you. He said nice. Appreciate you, bro. You know, I'm gonna come back right now. Hold on. My video was talking about life as a 22 year old dropping out of college. Um it's doing pretty good. It's, it has 700 views right now. Um and it's really like people are like really fucking with it. Um thanks. Uh, thanks. You're the best. Is that like? Did I put a heart on it? That's kind of like. Maybe. Okay, fuck it. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. And of course. You know, but one guy, he was like, yo, oh my god, you like your own comment? Bro, yes! It's the algorithm. And the craziest part is, bro, he's in my comments. Like, how are you? How are you making fun of me in my comments? Like, it makes no sense. And then one guy, oh my god, haters. Like, I can't believe. Okay, I, got, I have haters. It's funny. But. I can't believe, like, some people actually just hate. Like, one guy was like, oh, bro, like, this is a cool video, great quality, great mic, great content, great thumbnail. Like, boosting my head. Like, bro, this video is fucking amazing. But, bro, all you do is yap. Oh, welcome to fucking YouTube. Like, what the hell else am I supposed to do? It's a like, it's like, it's like vlogging channel. Like, it, it blows my mind. So, the agenda. I want to show you guys Little Havana. Um, I also want to show you Brickle downtown. And then I want to also show you Miami Beach. Beach vibe is immaculate like you oh my god you're gonna see so let's grab the one wheel let's go um yeah let's go As I mentioned before, this is actually where I first moved to. Um, this is actually the park I used to come used to come to like all the time. Um, and I'm not gonna lie, I haven't seen kids, so it's crazy to record kids. But I haven't seen like little. Okay, no Diddy, no Diddy. Can I even say his name? I don't even know. But <laughs> I've been seeing like kids here in Miami and forever because it is so rare to see anybody under the age of like 16. Like it is seeing a kid is. Like seeing a unicorn, it's so weird. So, you know, Brooklyn downtown area is definitely not catered for, you know, families or kids by that manner because I'm not gonna lie, like low key, being closer to the city, it's so much more like sexified. Like it's just, everything is just for adults. But over here, you know, there's more communities, you know, there's a gated community, not gated, well, I don't know if it's gated, but it's like, you know, neighborhoods over there, people can live and it's affordable, you know, prices where families can live, you know, this is a nice location. Obviously there are parks, you know, in downtown. I have been to it. Biscayne Park is one of them, but, but I feel like there's no parks like this where it's just very community oriented. It just feels like I'm chilling and like, nobody's really coming to bother me. I'm literally just sitting here at this bench and it's a nice day. You know and also the views you know of course you got the city like right over there so like the view is pretty nice it's a pretty nice location you know a lot of people say it's dangerous over here you know i don't feel it i mean obviously it's not as safe as it would be in the city because you know it's just not as dense as it is in the city so you know over here is a bit i would say a little bit more dangerous but i have lived over here for a year nobody robbed me i never got mugged you know, there are some homeless people, but there's, it's like that over there in the city too. So like, don't worry about that. I would say the only thing you're, I guess, missing would be the luxury, you know, being able to walk down the street, have Starbucks right around the corner. Because when I did live over here, I'm not gonna lie, the only problem was, I wouldn't say it's a problem. Well, I guess it was, it was an inconvenience. The only inconvenience was there was no food around me. Anytime I wanted to do anything, I would have to get up, you know, get on the one wheel, which is not a bad thing. Honestly, it probably, but it made me more you know, active or whatever, but I'm not gonna lie, it made me really lazy. You know, there was a point where, it got to a point where I didn't leave the house. You know, I would Uber everything from groceries to food to, you know, detergent, everything. Anything that you could name of, I would Uber because I just, everything was so far away. But now, living in downtown, you know, I got rid of Uber and I feel like I'm a lot more active now. Um, but it is fucking beautiful though. I mean, like it's palm trees, nice day. I think I want to go explore downtown now and show you guys what it looks like over there. 
Um, you're gonna see the drastic change. Like over here, I mean, rem remember this. Remember how nice it is, how family oriented it is. I mean, in downtown they would do that, but only if you have money. So it's just a bit different. Let's go over there to downtown. Okay, so we're not in downtown yet. Um, I was riding by and I came to this bridge and I realized this is the bridge. This was the bridge I used to ride to to work every, well not every day, but I used to ride this bridge to work, bro. Holy shit. And right over there is where I used to practice to ride the one wheel, man. That's so crazy, bro. What? Like I said, I don't know why people flack on you know, Little Havana, bro. This is like dope over here. I met this other guy. He told me that he used to live over here too. And that uh, this was his first place also because, you know, when you first moved to Miami, it's kind of like, you don't know what's going on. You're just trying to figure out, you know, your bearings. And Little Havana is just so alluring. Like, look at this, bro. Beautiful location. You know, it's on a cheaper side for Miami standards. But I'm not gonna lie, I think downtown is better bang for your buck if you're willing to give up a little bit. Um, but, you know, it is nice over here. I do want to continue to head over to downtown. So this is over, over here is actually Brickell. Brickell's over here. Downtown's more over this way. So let's just keep going straight. And I'm gonna catch you guys when we get to, I guess, the heart of downtown. Right now we're still like in Little Havana, like the edge of it. Just like the, yeah, the very edge of Little Havana. I think this bridge actually marks the end of Little Havana, I think. But uh, let me keep it going because uh, uh, I think the watchtower is kind of like looking at me. So let me go um, before they snipe me. All right, guys, welcome back. Um, somehow I ended up at another park, so. Um, this is Biscayne Park. I've been here before. Like, oh my God, bro. You know what I forgot to mention? Holy shit. So, um, look what the fuck I just hit, bro. 2,000 subscribers. Yo. Oh my goodness. I don't know if this is just YouTuber curse, but for some reason, right when I was about to hit 2K, so I almost hit 2K like almost a week ago, but right when I was about to hit 2K, Literally, I was at 1999. It went from 1999 to 1995, back to 1997, to 1998, to 1993, to 1998. I'm like, bro, like, what the fuck is going on? Like, what the hell? And then it just stopped at 1999 for like two days. And I was just like, so confused. Like, what the hell? And then magically, I woke up today and I forgot to even announce. I hit 2,000 and not even a day later, I met 2,010 subscribers. Like, what the fuck? It just doesn't make any sense. I was struggling trying to get that one subscriber and then right when I hit 2K, I get 10 more. And you know, I'm not mad. You know, thank you guys so much. Thank you. Man, this journey has been, ah, it's like so, so motivating. Like I, there were so many times where I wanted to quit and just, I don't even know. I don't even know what else I would do, but just quit and just give up and just say I'm a failure. But I kept going and it is just, I don't know, it's just so nice to have supporters. Like I have 2,000 and 10 people, guys, girls, doesn't matter, kids, women, children, you know, supporting. You know, I just wanna say thank you so much for supporting my journey and just being here. I know a lot of you guys wanna move to Miami or maybe, I don't even, let me know in the comments because maybe this is just a misconception, but I feel like a lot of you guys wanna move here um, because of, you know, you see my lifestyle or Whatever it is, maybe you just heard of Miami, just the funnest. Miami is definitely a dope ass city, but recently I've really just felt the urge of New York. You know, I really want to move to New York so bad. Like that is my biggest dream. Like, it's always been my biggest dream to go to New York. Um, not to say that, you know, I don't like Miami because I don't, wait, I do, I do, I don't. You know what I'm trying to say? I don't hate Miami, I love Miami, but it's just, I don't I feel like this city just, for different, a different type of person. I've never been a party person. Never wanted to, you know, go clubbing or drinking or whatever. Not, it just wasn't for me. But, you know, I feel like this city is just very catered to that. Um, you know, we're gonna see that in a second. You know, we're about to go to Brooklyn a little bit. Um, you know, downtown, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, downtown does have its moments like this where you can just sit, relax, watch the guys over there. Actually, I don't know what they're playing. They got like big ass bats. I don't know what they're doing, but, um, you know, that's what I want. Probably, this is probably what I'm missing. I need friends, guys, girls, you know, if you're out there, you know, if you're ever in Miami, let me know. Maybe that's what I'm missing. I don't want to go fucking clubbing and drinking. I want to go out and play the Frisbee or like play baseball or play soccer. I don't know. I just, it just it wasn't never, it was never for me to go party. Never cared for it. I mean, that, not to say that I don't want to party because I did just make a video saying that I do want to dabble in that side. On the real, what I really want is just a group of guys, girls, doesn't matter. And we could just have fun, just make little experiences together, you know? Like, I couldn't imagine, like, if I had a group of guys and girls or whatever, just, 
you know, we're all here and we're just making videos. That'd be the dopest thing to me. Like, I would have so much fun doing that. I feel like living here, just people don't want to do that. I don't know why. Like, people are just so much into social media, Instagram, that thing. And I mean, I get it because living here, I've seen that that is like a currency here. Like, having a social media following or just some clout in general just gives you power in the streets. I've literally seen it myself. It's actually crazy. Like, the Island Boys came to my job and everybody just dropped everything they were doing, like, you know, because I almost say where I worked, holy shit, fuck. Um, where I work at, you know, they were very diligent. You know, they want to make sure that you're, you're doing your job, you're doing, you know, everything the way it's supposed to be done, right? But the minute this celebrity came in, um, all, the, all the rules, everything that made sense just went out the window. Everybody went up taking pictures. The uh, customers were just, you know, taking pictures. Everybody got happy. And, you know, you just felt the room change you know maybe i should make a video on how it feels meeting celebrities in real life because it is a very off-putting feeling like i've said in videos that you know meeting celebrities is a very it's, it's a very freeing feeling because before you meet you know people like of that stature you think it's impossible but then when you meet like when you meet your idol or somebody that you've only seen on tv you realize they're just human whatever business or whatever you're into it makes doing that seem so much more easy because you realize that they did it. They look just like me, talk like me, you know, walk like me. They're just human, right? So I can do the same thing. But, you know, just to see how celebrities in general just have power, regardless of what they do. Some people, some, some celebrities, you know, do the most heinous things and steal people. I need to make a whole video on this, but steal people, I don't know, like, godify them. Like, they're angels like bro like these people are just human you know i don't know like fresh and fit fresh and fit for example like people were praising the fuck out of them forever defending everything that they did and now that they've been shown to be hypocrites not doing none that they do i i don't know i think myron's gay i don't even know what's happening fresh is, apparently he's calling out myron myron's pit i don't know but fresh and fit at this point is pretty much a disaster they're done it's so funny to see how people flip so fast now it's, oh, Fresh and Fit are so stupid, they don't know what they're talking about, ha ha, the losers, Fresh is so ugly. But before it was, no, you guys don't understand, blah, blah. And I left the red pill a long time ago because I realized that shit was stupid. Like, they were saying that most, I'm not even gonna get into that's for another video, but it's just, just to see people, the way people treat celebrities, I guess. It's just, I don't know. But I've been yet holy shit, I've been yapping, yo. Oh my god, I got into a yap session. Okay, so I think downtown is split up into sections also. I think this is called Biscayne. And then like, there's another side of downtown over there where I live. Because I don't technically live in Biscayne. Because Biscayne is more of the money side of downtown. You know, Miami, I'm not gonna lie. Miami is very confusing. Like, Brook was the financial district. And then downtown is the, the finance, but little less. But then it's also split up into to itself. And then that has also has its own financial district, which is over here right if that makes any sense i don't know maybe that doesn't make any sense you know when you come here you'll see you know i'm trying to explain it but yeah um okay i want to show you guys the ocean view before i leave for uh brickle and yo look at this look at this look at this this is crazy as i let I me mean, let me refresh one more time okay as i was like just recording bro i hit 2011 i got another subscriber See, this is like oh. i said it me and jerry literally said that we feel like something's good is ha gonna happen soon and you know the video didn't blow up or anything you know it is what it is but you know it does feel nice to finally hit 2k and be going to the next journey but let me show you guys this river view because i feel like i'm yapping all right um okay let me go i think my one wheel is about to die too um and i'm not gonna lie i might not make it to the beach today we might have to go to an another day because the one wheel is like i'm like 60 percent and it takes a good 70 to get there so you know we might have to just come back um another day look at the battery, battery go down look at that ah hi okay that was embarrassing wow try it again there we go that's how like we're actually a pro okay so here is the ocean view um as you can see people just having a good time you know riding the jet skis and yachts and stuff you know i've never seen the sunset over here i would love to see I don't even know what to come over. I don't know. I would love to see the sunset. You know, everybody loves Brooklyn because of the luxury, but honestly, I don't like being over there because I just get bad vibes. Like, I just don't like the way people move and talk to you. Like I said, over there is where all the social media and, oh, what's your numbers looking like? That's where that stuff happens. I don't like it. Why can't we just make content 
and have fun. Like we're all making content. Why is it a competition? Like I just, I never got that. But let's go head over there to Brickle where uh, the movers and shakers, they be at. So uh, I'm gonna catch you guys in a little bit. All right, welcome to Brickle. All around me, it's just skyscrapers. You know, that's just a Brickle thing. So you remember how I said I don't like coming over here because of the luxuriness and the uh, fakeness of people because of social media and all of that? Well, you know, it's true. You know, as you can see, you know, all the boats and stuff. I feel like people over here just lost their humanity. You know, they just, they only see money and numbers and something they can gain from you. They don't see you as a human being anymore. Okay, let me sit down right quick because my legs are killing me. I'm not gonna lie, it's a fucking mega yacht, dead ass. I mean, Look at this, like, bro, why is there a mega yacht? Why? Explain, Miami, why? I do not come from the big city. If you guys have been keeping up with the channel, you would know that I come from a pretty small town. Um, and, you know, back home, well, can I call it home at this point? Because technically this is my home, but back where I used to live, it felt like people still had humanity and that they were still human. Like, they, you could talk to them and they felt you on an emotional level, but here, people, if you're not talking about money or a business deal or status or cloud or Instagram, it's like they, people don't even understand what you're saying or they don't even care to talk to you. It, it is the weirdest experience and that is so apparent here over here in Brickle. Rent here, guys, bro, 5K. 5K is like the minimum. That apartment there, fuck, this one, this one. That one there, rent probably the bottom floor is probably like 6K, dead ass because it's just just because it's right above the city century which is that whole blob there um but that apartment is probably like a good 6k at the bottom and then maybe 15k at the top dead ass okay seriously it's just it's too many boats man like actually it's, like, it's like 10 boats coming my way right now one over there it's just it's too much before i moved to miami i've never really experienced this level of wealth seen a Bugatti guys a Bugatti you're not as a simpleton as myself I'm not meant to see a Bugatti at my age like I'm 22 years old I'm not the stuff that I've seen really probably more than likely messed my mindset up I'm not gonna lie because you know to see that level of wealth is just it's, it kind of warps your brain because you think is when everybody else has a Lambo why don't I have one you know he's only 19 he has fucking two Lambos a Bugatti and like, I don't even think, why don't I have one? And of course Miami is like a hot spot for people like that. So me living here, it just, it, ugh. God, it messed my mindset up. Um, but you know, I've learned how to let go and not really give a fuck about other people's, you know, their journey because I'm on my own. You know, I'm not gonna lie. We're not gonna make it to the beach today. It is getting kind of late and the one wheel is not gonna make it people. We're gonna have to come back another day. All right, guys, I'm about to head home just because it is getting kind of late. The sun's going down over there. It is beautiful though, nice sunset. But I don't, I don't wanna be out here too late tonight. Let me get home because I don't wanna be here too late. And we'll catch you guys in a second. Peace. What a gorgeous night. Look at that. Me and Jerry, we're gonna go to the beach and we're just gonna Enjoy the time, enjoy the night or the day. I feel like Miami Beach is just the best part of Miami. It's just the vibes are so kosher over there. Like everybody, okay, wait, hold on, before I say this, whenever you think of Miami, you know, you think of craziness, you know, people doing illegal stuff, that tends to happen all at Miami Beach. Yes, 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 but I'm not gonna lie. You know, of course, yes, that's that kind of people, but on the other side, the other kind of people, the good people that just wanna live a good life, they are so kind and nice and so energetic. I don't know, you just see them walk like in the morning, like running in the morning, you know, riding a bike, just, you know, just so nice. Like, hey neighbor, like just so good. And the neighborhoods over there, guys, the neighborhoods are so fucking dope. Like, oh my God, I just love Miami Beach. Like if I could live over there, I would. Miami Beach is the most expensive. It's even more expensive than over there, you know? Miami Beach is, I think it's like, 6k average or something that's crazy i would never even if i had the money i don't know if i would that's that's crazy but you know it is very nice over there but uh, i'm gonna catch you guys in a little bit and then we're gonna go to the beach and just enjoy that side of town 
Um, I actually, me and Jerry might get in the water. So last time we went to the beach, we did go get in the water. I wasn't prepared for it because, well, shit, you can't even see. I only brought my um, my leather pants or my uh, jeans. Stupid, I got in the water, bro. Stupid decision to bro. The pants were stuck to my leg, bro. It was bad. Um, so this time, I'm gonna make sure that we're, I'm prepared because I'm not gonna be stuck like I was last time and my pants are stuck to my leg and I'm just, it was bad. My shoes got just ruined, bro. I just should've brought my Crocs. Just so many wrong decisions, but I'm gonna catch you guys um, later. See you guys, love you guys. Thank you so much for 2K, I fucking forgot. I gotta look at it one more time, one more time, one more time, one more time. Double time, double time. Oh, oh my, bro, 2013. Bro, we just hit 2000 fucking 12. And like, I said, okay, I shouldn't be cursing. Let me stop. I'm just so excited. But we just hit 2013, like, I mean, 2012, like three minutes ago. What? You guys are really feeling this video. Like, you guys are commenting and everything on it. Thank you so much. You know, I did put a lot of hard work into the video, so, like, I should be, like, you know, of course, but thank you for, like, actually giving me a chance because, man, it has 882 views right now. Like, that's actually really dope. But uh, I'm going to catch you guys um, in a second. See you guys. Thanks so much for continuing to watch. Um, see you in a second.